hi guys so in today's video we are going to be making another golden rule pattern and i'm going to be using the new supplement book that i recently received and it is the supplement number 322 in case you're wondering because i get some of you asking that a certain pattern is not in your own book so this is the supplement number that i am using right now so and the pattern we are going to be making the dress we are making today is this one and right here is the pattern which i have draft out already i will show you in a bit i do have a video on how to um, use the golden rule pattern i mean how you can transfer these tiny little patterns to your exact size i will post the link of that video in the description box or at the end of this video so right here are my patterns all drafted out like i said this one is the front and this is the back and right here is the strap just as it is in the pattern book this is the front and this is mine this is the back and this is mine and this strap right here and this is mine as well that's about all the pattern we need for the bodies yeah i'm making this right so that means i don't need this extra one because this one goes for this sleeve right here so yeah so what i'm going to do now is to cut out my fabric and before i do that i'm going to be slashing through this pattern um i mean this dart area right here okay and this is optional if you want to just take in your dart you can go ahead and just take in your dart on your fabric and trim off the excess at the back but i want to have this as a separate panel and this as a separate panel the same goes for my back as well so now that i have my back in two pieces and my front in two pieces i am going to now cut out on my fabric then i'm going to be adding extra half inch allowance on this side and on here as well just so i can join these two back together the same goes to this one half inch seam allowance half inch seam allowance and as you can see i already have my um the rest of the joining allowance i also have half inch seam allowance surrounding my strap as well all right so now i have cut out my pattern as you can see i left half inch joining allowance on here this is the front the back is also the same thing half inch seam allowance along the dart and yeah by the way i have two pieces of each panel two pieces of this i have two pieces of this as well the same for this and the same for this two 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 all right so everything that i cut out for my main fabric i also went ahead and cut it out on my far um on my lining as well and i make sure to transfer the indications just to show me which is the front and which is the back and which one goes to which by the time i'm joining all the ones with a are front and the ones with b are the back okay and i have two pieces of each two pieces two pieces two pieces except for um this one which is on fold this line is actually optional if you don't want lining you can just use facing you may not um fully line the bodies like i i am going to do and for my sleeve i also cut it out just as it is and i have four pieces for this one so it's going to be two pieces for each sleeve strap whatever so yeah so the final thing i cut out was this down part which is just a rectangle basically depending on how full you want it so you can make your waist circumference multiply by three multiply by 2.5 or maximum multiply by four depending on how full you want it i am using my waist circumference multiplied by three so my waist circumference times three is what i cut out as this span right here and the length you can go ahead and decide how long you want it to be as well i'm using 50 centimeter for mine here is recommended maybe from 80 something like that so i'm using 50 and here are those fabrics i'm using this really beautiful fabric for my down part so this is what my rectangle piece for the down part looks like it's time to start joining here is my main pieces as you can see i also transferred all all the you know i just noted which one is the front and which is the back so in order to start joining i will be starting with my front this one right here is the center front so i'll grab the center front then i'll put the side front which is a c a c 
So I'm putting them right sides facing each other. Obviously, this part that I have chalk is the wrong side. So I'll put it this way and I'll pin it down. So I'll be stitching it this way. And by the time I open it up, I will have something that looks like this. Obviously, it's going to be flatter. Then I'll put the second uh, side of the front as well. Also right sides facing each other. And I'm also going to pin it down along the dark line and I will be stitching it as well. Okay. Once I'm done stitching, I will have my front looking like this. Then I will move on to the sides. So that means I'm stitching on the BC now. So then I'll grab the BC, which is the side back. I'll place it right side facing each other as well. Pin it down. Okay. And second BC goes on this side, right side facing each other. Then the center back, which is B. And on the other side, Okay, so I'll go ahead and join those together and by the time I'm done, it's going to look like this, okay? So once that has been done, this is what I have. I also went ahead and joined my lining the same exact way as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be inserting my zipper onto the main panel i do have a video already on how to insert an invisible zipper so it won't make sense for me to be repeating it in this video so i will attach it in the description box also at the end of the video please check it out so i have attached the zipper as you can see and this is what it's looking like and the next thing i'm going to do is to notch this um dart area so once i am done notching yeah so i just wanted to point out that i left about half inch down here so that i can use that to attach my bodies to my skirt all right so this is what it's looking like after giving it a good press my zipper has been made as you can see and yeah we still haven't put in the lining at this point and at the front this is what it's looking like all right so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to work on the strap so i am going to be joining the sleeves together you know we have two pieces for each strap right so i will be placing both of them right sides facing each other like this okay and i am going to be stitching by half inch which was the same allowance that i've added and also here okay the same goes to this one all right so as you can see i have done that i stitched down like this and this is just the excess that i trimmed off so the next thing i'm going to do is to turn it to the right side now using my loop toner you can use whatever you find comfortable so after ironing it this is what it looks like let me just point out two things real quick the first is that i ironed a fusible interfacing onto my fabric just because i want to give it a bit of structure this is optional you may not do that this is a satin fabric by the way and the second thing i want to point out is regarding this strap if you look at the dress that we are making you will see that there is a tie kind of situation on on the strap but that's not what i'm doing okay i am doing this but without this little flare right here and the reason is because there's a lot going on with my fabric already so i don't want to have this tying um thing on the strap anymore so that's why i drafted out this pattern as my strap but if you are going for this exact strap then this is what you should draft out just cut out this piece in this size so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i have my bodies right here and here is my lining i'm going to place it right sides facing each other but before i do that actually i'm going to be placing my strap so determine where you want your strap to be so you are going to place in your strap this way and stick that down and the second hand is going to go this way so i'm going to pin that down I will repeat the same to the second strap as well. Then I am going to be placing my lining on top of it like this, matching all relevant points. Then I am going to be stitching that down along my neckline like this, all the way like this by half inch, which was my seam allowance. And once that is done, I will also turn my needle down here as well like this. And I'm also going to stitch down right here. 
and just like i did for my main fabric i stopped at about half inch before i get to the end so i will stop somewhere here i will do the same thing on this side as well so once all of that is done this is what i have so the next thing i'm going to do is to make sure i chop off this corner just so that uh, when i turn it to the right side it stays flat and sharp and also notch this depth right here and optionally you could give a top stitch onto your lining and what that does is to help this lining stay back in a clean way so next we are going to be adding a bra cup which i have done on here and i'll be showing you how i did it so what i did was i stitched it onto the lining alone so place it where you want it to be and i am going to be doing a stitch in the ditch stitching from the right side of my lining i'm going to be placing a straight stitch and by the time i'm done it will look like this you see what i have here this is where the stitch is here and i put it also here in the middle and here at the end okay so that has been done as you can see the next thing i'm going to do is to work on the skirt right here is my skirt so what you're going to do now is to run a loose stitch or gather stitch whatever you call it run it all along the waistline area i have done that that's why you see that it's kind of looking like it's gathered already it's not gathered yet i just i just put that gather stitch on there and then i am as you can see i left my zipper allowance one inch zipper allowance is right here so the thread of my gather start from somewhere here and i did it onto the end to the other end and i also left my one inch zipper allowance here as well so just go ahead and pull your gathers if you want to know how to make gathers i have a video on a gather skirt already that explains to you um, exactly how to do this because i believe not everyone watching this video is a beginner so it doesn't make sense for me to um repeat everything that i've done already in a particular video so please go and check out that video so once that has been done this is what i have right here and i gathered it to the circumference of my waist okay then i also did the same thing to my lining you can pleat the lining as well instead of gathering it and i also hemmed the down part as you can see so go ahead and hem your hemline as well as this one of course i believe we all know how to hem you hem folding it twice and you stitch it down like that i'm not hemming here though i'm just showing you so i hemmed the down part so what i'm going to do now is to um, stitch it on to my bodies so i'm going to be stitching main fabric to main fabric you know we have this in two right the lining is still separated from the main fabric so i will grab my skirt you can just notch the center point okay once you know the center point also find the center point on your main fabric and that of the lining because i know i'm going to be using that later as well so i have my center point right here i'll place it this way and i'll place my skirt at the center point center point to center point and i will start pinning it down remember this half inch that we left open here this is where we are going to use it so i will make sure my zipper is out of the way here and i will put my skirt with it like this pin it down the same thing to the other side so once i'm done pinning it down i'll take it to the machine and i'm going to be stitching it down all through from from end to end of course your lining should be out of the way at this point as well so that has been done as you can see the next thing i'm going to do now is to stitch on my lining this is the lining of the bodies and i'm going to grab the lining of the skirt just like i did to the main fabric i will also repeat the same to the lining center point of my lining to the center point of the skirt lining pin it down and i will also stitch it all the way actually there are two methods of doing this you could stitch both the skirt of the lining and the skirt of the main fabric together from the beginning then you put the lining of the bodies on top of it on top of it like this then you can top stitch with the stitch in the ditch from the front in a way that it doesn't show the line of stitch from the front but it is stitching down this okay that way it cleans it off here right away but i'm going with the second method of stitching my lining lining to lining and main fabric to main fabric so i will do that 
and then i'll be back to show you what it looks like all right so once that has been joined as you can see this is what i have and it's currently looking like this clean inside and outside so what i'm going to do next is to stitch from the hemline here i will pick lining to lining right side facing each other so right sides facing each other lining to lining i'm going to stitch from here and stop a little bit into my zipper let's say my zipper stops here as you can see my zipper stops here so i will make i will join my lining to lining together and stop somewhere here a little bit into my zipper somewhere here and the same is going to go to the main fabric as well of course right side facing each other main fabric to main fabric and that's uh, at the center back and i am going to be stitching from the hemline also upward a little bit into where my zipper um is going to stop so once that is done this is what i have i stitch the lining together now it's looking like this once i stitch these two together lining to lining and main fabric to main fabric at the center back this is what i have so remember that the zipper is not yet stitched down completely so that's what we are going to be doing now and that's going to probably be the end except overlocking basically so i'll open here up like this and i'll grab my zipper and i will continue stitching it down from my waistline where i stopped then i'll stitch it down till i get to this point where i have stitched down my center back here and on here as well i will also continue stitching down my zipper on here so when i'm done doing that onto the main fabric so then i also add my lining in and I will do the same thing like this and on this side all right so guys we are basically done with this dress this is what it looks like it's so pretty Straight to my